The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, eighth chapter, text number forty six, given by his divine grace, A. C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on october twenty sixth, nineteen seventy four, in Mayapur, India. King Yudhishthira, who was very much aggrieved, could not be convinced despite instructions by great sages headed by Vyasa and the Lord Krishna himself, the performer of superhuman feats, and despite all historical evidence. Vyasadvi Dishari Yaha Gai Krishnena Adbhuta Karmana Prabodhita Api Itihasai Na Abuddhata Suchartita After the battle of Kurukshetra, when everything was settled, Maharaj Yudhishthi, who is well known as Dharmaraj, very pious king, he was very much agreed. It is said that sixty-four crores of men were dead within eighteen days in the battlefield of Kurukshet. So, Maharaj Yudhishthir is very much pious. He did not like the idea of so many persons being killed simply for the sake of enthroning him on the throne of the kingdom. He was very much agreed that for me so many men have died. Uh, how much sinful I have become, although I am going to be the king. But uh, he had no cause to become angry. Even uh, great learned sages like Bas, therefore it is said Bas uh, Not only Bas, Bas Haddai Ishara. And Krishna was there. He is Ishara. Ishara Pala, not only ordinary Ishara, but the supreme Ishara. Uh, Ishara means controller. So, there are many different types of controller. But the supreme controller is Krishna. Ishara Parama Krishna. Satyadananda Vidya. So, he also tried to convince Maharaj Yudhishthi that it was duty for a khatriya uh, in dutiful war, dharma yuddha. Dharma yuddha, therefore the battlefield of Kurukshetra is called dharma khetra. Although there was fighting, but the uh, fighting arena was not ordinary land. It is dharmakhetra. Because the fighting was being performed under the superintendence of Krishna. Dharma Setu, the leader of all religiosity. Uh, under his superintendence, under his care, the fighting was going on. Therefore, this fighting was not ordinary fighting. People cannot understand that how fighting can be religious principle. Yes? That fighting can be also religious also, but not uh, the present 
fighting. Present fighting, the politicians, out of their wings, they declare war. That is not religious fighting. That is abominable. That is to serve their political ends. When the politicians cannot control the mass of people being dissatisfied, they make a click to declare some war so that all their attention may be diverted. This is politics. But the battle of Kurukshetra was not that type of battle. One should be aware of the battle of Kurukshetra very nicely. It was Dharma Juddha. Dharma Kshetri Kurukshetri Samavita Judasava. Why they uh, settled up that the fighting should take place in the Dharma Kshetra? Uh, they are to fight Jujusava. It was settled they will fight. But why they selected the Dharma Kshetra? Uh, this is Vedic system. Even up to death in villages not in the cities. In the cities, as soon as there is some misunderstanding between you and me, we go to the court, either criminal court or civil court, to settle up. And it takes years uh, to settle up the business. It goes on. I have seen for generation, one generation past another generation, the fighting is going on in the court. But if people are Krishna conscious, it could be settled uh, within few minutes. Uh, still among the villagers, the system is current in India. When there is some fighting, they go to a saintly person or in a temple to settle up. Uh, just like when Sanatana Goswami was there in Vrindavan, so in that area, whenever there was some fighting between two parties, uh, they would come to Sanatana Goswami. Baba, aap isko fasla kar di. Baba means saintly person. So they would come to Sanatana Goswami and they would ask him to become mediator, arbitrator, to settle up. And whatever verdict or judgment he will give, they will accept. Ah, the Baba has said, that's all right. Therefore, Srinivas Acharya has prayed the Goswami's dhira dhira. Ah, Krishna kirtana gana nattana paro dhira-dhira priyo dhira-dhira priyo there are two kinds of men one is dhira very learned sober uh, man, everything in knowledge wise they are called dhira therefore krishna says dhira-stattva namayati Dehinasminjathadehi kaumara jovanangajara tatha dehantara prapti dhirastatta namayati. He has specifically mentioned the word dhira. Dhira ah. means the sober, learned, uh, gen- generally we call in English language gentleman. Gentleman means he must be sober, learned, and thoughtful. That is gentleman. Uh, but nowadays gentleman is defined simply by dress. Uh, dhira and adhira. So there are two classes of men. And the Goswamis uh, were very dear to both classes of men. Dhira, dhira. That is the sign of uh, saintly person, samachitya, samachitya, they have no enemies, ajata-satrava. 
here in the Adhira, the saintly person considers as friend, and even a Dhira, he considers friend. Uh, uh, Pandita Samadarsha, this is the Dhira. So, uh, uh, these saintly persons were also advising, bash their, and Vyasadvai, not only Vyasadvai, there are other very big, big saintly persons. Uh, the monarchy, as it is conceived in the Vedic civilization, that is not this monarchy. Just like we have got experience in the history, a monarch means get money and spend it for wine and women. Not that kind of monarchy. Monarchy means the king, the ideal monarchy, Maharaj Yudhishthi, Maharaj Parikhi. Uh, they were very much advanced in spiritual knowledge, in administrative knowledge, in economic development, everything perfectly they were educated. And they were being guided by saintly persons like Vyasadvai. Vyasadvi, Maharaj Ramchandra was being guided by Vashishtha. So, the king were guided by a committee of saintly person. Big, big, learned saintly person, Brahmins, they would give advice to the king. He is already learned. There was a case, Ben Maharaj, the father of Prithu Maharaj. He was very much upstart. Uh, therefore, the committee of the learned Brahmins and saintly person killed him. Because he was not hearing to the committee of the saintly person, Brahmins, he was killed. And his son, Maharaj Prithu, was enthroned. There are many cases. Uh, if the king was an upstart, the Brahmins, they are so powerful, they did not require any weapon. Simply by their words they will kill. So, this monarchy is different. Uh, people now, they have taken to democracy. Uh, democracy is also mentioned in the Srimad Bhagavatam, that in the Kaliju there will be no more monarchy or the kingdom ruled by the Kshatriyas, but amongst the people will be tricky. Somewhere or other, get the votes of the people, he will be seated on the throne. That is stated. Somewhere or other. Uh, so, th- therefore, People are in trouble because so many rascals, they somehow or other manage to get some vote and become the president and minister and so what they know. They do not know how to govern, how to uh, bring peace in the country. Uh, but this monarchy, Maharaj Yudhishthi, the see, because for the sake of uh, um, his personal interest. So many people have been killed. He was sorry. Just see. Not that somehow or other he divide India. Let me become Prime Minister. That's all. We have got political information that in India the, when it was, the proposal was for partition, Gandhi was completely against this party. Uh, he said, better I will have no independence, still I shall not allow the country to be divided. He was stubborn on this point. Uh, but he was absent, and in the meantime, uh, our the big Prime Minister signed it, agreed, uh, party. Uh, because he wanted to be Prime Minister, anyway, somewhere else. Let the country go to hell. Uh, this is politics going on. Uh, 
Lord Yudhishthir Maharaj is not like that. Let some or other, let me become king. Let so many people were killed, they were mine. No, he was so sorry. So sorry that he could not be solaced even by the instruction of Krishna and saintly person like Bhagavad He was so sorry. Of course, he accepted, but personally, he was so very, very sorry that so many people have been killed for me. But what could be done? Ah, it was Krishna's desire. Krishna comes. Paritranaya sadhuna vinasaya chuduskitam. His two business. Ah. So he wanted to establish the kingdom of his representative. He wanted that Maharaj Yudhishthi is right representative. He should be enthroned on the uh, kingdom of whole world. Formerly, Bharatvarsha meant this whole planet, uh, not this small uh, tract of land, now it is called India. Hmm? That the Bharatvarsha means the whole planet, this planet. There was one flag, up to Maharaj Parikhi, there was one flag, not like at present, there are hundreds and thousands of flags. You Americans, you know, in New York, when you pass through that United Nations building, we see so many flags are there. They are united, but everywhere the flag is increasing, disunited. Not like that. Actually, by monarchy, the pious king, there was unity all over the world. Hmm. All over the world. And in the battlefield of Kurukshetra, it was a family fight. So all the kings of different parts of the world, uh, they joined this side or that side. That is mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita. So, but still Maharaj this state, did not like that so many uh, people would be killed for the sake of uh, enthroning him. But Krishna desired. Krishna desired. Uh, Krishna wanted it, uh, that uh, the Duddhadan, they were demon-like, uh, simply making politics and diplomacy. Uh, their only business was uh, Dhritarashtra, along with his sons, they are simply making diplomacy how to kill the Pandavas and catch over the kingdom. That was their policy. So the political head, executive head, of course he should be intelligent to understand diplomacy and politics, but his only business is to see how people in general are in happiness. That is his business. Nowadays, political parties, they are simply engaged how to keep up their position. All the political parties I have seen personally, simply they are making plan how to keep their position in the government so they may not be dethroned, other party may not come. The whole time is wasted. When they will think of, no, the people are suffering, for want of food, their people are suffering for unnecessary increase of price. Although things are available in the black market, how to manage this? That is the duty of the government first. But nobody is caring. The hundreds and thousands of people are starving, unemployment, but they are getting their fat salary and they are satisfied. Bring income tax and divide amongst themselves. That's all. So Maharaj Yudhishthi was not that type of king. Therefore, he is uh, known as Dharmaraj Yudhishthi, most pious king. Mm. So mm, he was not sorry and Prabodhito Obi. Prabodhito Obi. He was trying to pacify Maharaj Yudhishthi, don't be sorry. Uh, it is done uh, for the sake of good cause, for establishing. 
धर्म संस्थापना था डोंट बी सॉरी बट स्टिल ही कुड नॉट बी पैसिफाइड सुचार भी था सुचार से सूचो मीन्स डिस्ट्रेस यू आर सो मच डिस्ट्रेस विद इन इज माइंड दैट ही कुड नॉट बी सेटिस्फाइड 